investigation in France after being detained last weekend. The judge said he was suspected of being complicit in allowing illicit transactions, including images of child sex abuse and drug trafficking, on Telegram. Well, let's speak now to Henry Wired, who is a financial crime researcher at the Global Anti-Financial Crime Specialist, uh, Themis. Thank you very much for joining us. And, and for people who aren't clear about why there is this controversy around Telegram, just explain for us, Henry, why that controversy exists. Thank you very much for having me. So Telegram is far from the only social media company to be under the legal microscope this year. So earlier this year, the European Commission launched uh, regulatory proceedings against Meta, the owner of Facebook and Instagram, where Telegram has really been found to be wanting is in its uh, cooperation with legal authorities. So it's been charged with a refusal to communicate at the request of authorised authorities and a lack of providing the necessary information required by the law. So we've seen much more cooperation from other social media platforms. But Telegram, for instance, is not a member of either the National Centre for Missing and Exploited Children or the Internet Watch Foundation, both of which organisations work with online platforms to find, report and remove, remove material about around child sex abuse. So because it isn't a member of those platforms, when it says that there's a fine line between freedom of speech and mm -hmm. protecting users from serious harm, do you think because it hasn't joined those platforms that it doesn't really have a, a footing to make that argument? So I think that's exactly the case. So there's a question around exactly why Telegram is poor at responding to requests from authority. So on the one hand, it could be a question of resource and staffing. So Pavel Durov, in an, in an interview earlier this year, said that he only employed around 30 engineers. That clearly is very different from the large compliance departments at multi, other multinational social media organisations. But I think really the fact that it's not signed up to these um, organisations, which are industry standards, is a sign that perhaps the platform doesn't have an interest in doing that. And I think we need to be very clear um, that, to my mind at least, this is not a question in freedom of speech. This is about preventing the most serious types of organised criminal activity. And the Kremlin unhappy with this action that's being taken against Mr Durov. Um, does the Kremlin or can the Kremlin intervene in any other way over this? Um, so I would take statements from the Kremlin about this particular case with a heavy pinch of salt. Pavel Durov left Russia uh, and set up base in Dubai um, as a result of uh, tanglings with the Russian government. Um, I, I, my view in this statement is much more that it's um, a slightly mendacious intervention into a very sensitive political issue. Um, I, they have little uh, capacity to intervene in a French domestic um, legal action. So I think statements from the Kremlin are best ignored in this particular instance. OK, Henry, thank you very much for your thoughts on that story. Henry Wired. Thank you very much. 80 years ago, during...